fun. Hey, William. <laughs> Have you bought your flights for Eurovision 2017? Um... Yeah, but where, where is it? Exactly. We <laughs> don't know. Ukraine has not yet decided where they will stage this massive event. However, there are two clear frontrunners. We have our ear to the ground. And those two cities are, of course, Kiev, the capital, and Lviv. 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 Yeah. Lviv. How, it sounds like love you, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's our favorite. I'm obsessed with the idea of going to Lviv. Shall we review it? Let's do this! Zebin, we should start this off by talking about Kiev, the mayor Klitschko, the boxer, he's very keen on having it there in the Olympic Stadium, 70,000 person capacity. It's gonna, it's gonna slay, but you know what, Kiev has hosted Eurovision mm. in 2005, where actually I was at. And they've hosted Junior Eurovision as well, where you were at. Yeah, 2009. So, you know, let's switch it up. Let's switch it up. Yeah, I think it'd be a good idea to bring this event somewhere else in Ukraine, showcase a different side of the country. And let's be honest, a lot of people are concerned about the security situation. So the further west you go, the more comfortable people may be. Which, of course, leads us to Love Yov. Love Yov. Love Yov. Yes which is the capital of the Western region, no doubt. Seventh largest city in the country, used yep. to be part of Poland. Yep. Very historic. It almost looks like, I don't know, Prague mixed with Kiev. Does that sound strange? But even better. I think this yeah. is a, a rich um, zone of history. It's a mm. cultural center. It's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it is compact, giving it that real Eurovision bubble feel. Yeah, a cauldron of energy. So often when you have Eurovision in a big city, everything is spread out. It's a nightmare getting from A to B. I just remember in Copenhagen, getting from that arena. Oh my God, and it was so close. Island. You could see it at every yeah. point. Islands over there, Euro clubs over there. It took about 10 hours to get between them, nightmare. Also for press and we journalists. We missed the bus. We missed the bus many times. But I think for <laughs> press and journalists and Euro fans who were there for two weeks, a small city is in many ways so much more interesting. It is. And convenient. It, yeah, this is, not just, this is not just any small city. I mean, Malmo was great, but I think this would even take it up a notch. Another level. level! But look, we have to talk about, they have this stadium that hosted the Euro 2012. It was purpose built yeah. for Euro 2012. It doesn't have a roof. Neither does the Olympic Stadium in, in Kiev. Kiev. So they're both roofless wonders. So they're just going to have to like put a roof on, you know, whichever one they choose, they have to put a roof on. Yeah. So the expense in many ways is the same. It is, it is. Although Kiev could pitch other venues um, and you know, Liev. Or For instance, the Palace of Sport yeah, which, in Kiev, yeah. which hosted Eurovision 2005. 2005. But people say it's out of date and no longer in condition to host this big competition. It has a capacity of 10,000, I believe, um, whereas the Olympic Stadium is 70,000. 70, so it would probably, if it's in Kiev, it would be the Olympic Stadium, yes? Yeah. And what's even interesting as well is that, you know, Ruslana took the contest to Ukraine in 2005. Mm. And she's not even supporting Kiev on this occasion. Mm. So she's bidding for Lviv. Lvia. 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 Oh my we God. You, I, need to, I need to get my tongue around that. Yeah, so she's even supporting that. So that's exciting. It is exciting. You know, I think she is very much about including all Ukrainian people. And Ukraine does not end in Kiev. This is a big country and it's got a, a big population. And I want to see more of it. I don't want to, the capital is amazing. Don't get me wrong cosmopolitan, oh, amazing yeah. And I don't think there will be any security concerns even if it's in Kiev. I mean, let's be honest. No, on well, you know, we've been there many times and yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's and speaking of Jamala, yes. one thing I love about her, you know, it's very, it's very predictable. When a winner wins, they usually, I mean, Manzemula mm. was like, you know, see you in Stockholm. They already oh. have this on lockdown. I almost think it's not going to be Kiev because she said, she was asked at the press conference, you were there, and she said, yeah. oh, you know, since you're a Crimean Tatar, will this be held in Crimea um, or will it go to Kiev? And she responded, I want the contest to come to Ukraine. Yes! She's not limiting it to the capital. She's not limiting it to any region. She knows that this choice is very much up in the air. I have a feeling it will be Lviv. 
I just think that they want to showcase a different side of Ukraine. And I think that also financially, it might make more sense. Kiev is an expensive city. And to put a roof on that massive stadium is going to be perhaps more expensive than putting it on a smaller stadium. I disagree. No, I think it will have more use than Kiev, to be honest. It, it would have more use long term. Long but term. perhaps Lviv has ambitions that we don't know about. Perhaps they want to become a huge sporting hub. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. It's too hard to tell. My question is this. What are the concerns or drawbacks of having it in Lviv? Flights. Boris Paul International Airport, Ukraine International Airlines yeah. pretty much flies everywhere in Done. Europe and they feed into that hub. In Libya, flights are going to be tricky. But you know what? What is a, Why does everything have to be so smooth? I just like the whole mayhem yes. sometimes. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be peace. It's going to be amazing. I actually like the adventure. The fact that we don't know the city. This is what I love about Eurovision. It forces you to go places you would never go. Exactly. For instance, I had never thought about going to Baku. 2012, I'm all up in Azerbaijan, on the Caspian, having a good old time. And we want to go again. Yes. And also, how cool is it, you know, Poland has some of the most passionate fans, and it's very close to the border. Oh, yes, so I can 70 see miles. 70 miles. I can see tons of Polish fans coming, and they have such energy. Which was life. the beauty of Malmo, because people from yeah. Copenhagen came yeah, over. Yeah, it was very international. Mm. This Lviv is also so historic. Back in 2006, yes. they celebrated their 750th anniversary Completely. as a city. Yeah. There is so much history here. You've got the Market Square. Ooh! St. George's Cathedral, gorgeous. Um, Church of the Transfiguration, gorgeous. Stunning. Church of the Assumption, gorgeous. Oh, I love those green tiles yes. on it. Yes, Chapel of the Boim family, gorgeous. Lviv National Art Gallery. What about the Opera House? Oh, look at that ballet theater, yes. That kills it. Oh my god, have you seen the Lviv National Museum? Oh my god. Point of story, this city slays and we are putting our support behind Lviv. Completely. But you know what? If it's in Kiev, I'm there. I'm down with Kiev. Basically, I'm down with Ukraine. I am down with Ukraine. Lviv doesn't have enough hotels for all those Euro fans. Baku didn't have anything before we get That's we true. Got they, built the, they built it. They built it. it. If you build Done. it, they come. And ah. it, it is one of the best editions of the Eurovision Song Contest we've ever had. Done. Done. How cool Done. would it be? Oslo, Dusseldorf, Baku, Malmö, Copenhagen, Vienna, Stockholm. Love you! Yeah! Yes! That's what we think. What do you think? Do you want to go to Kiev? Do you want to go to Lviv? Do you want to go to Odessa? Where do you want to go? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. We are going to Ukraine and we'll go anywhere, but we want to go to Lviv, right? <laughs> so please do show your support. So let us know in the comment section. And subscribe. And press like. See you later. Bye! Bye. Oh,